No, <laughs> no. We've already gotten swag. So. You make it awkward. We're okay. We're good. How did you feel it went for both of you at the weekend? Um, yeah, it was, um, you know, first game out. Um, a few things that we need to fix during the week, definitely. Um, not easy fixes, but stuff we're, we're capable of fixing and, and, and producing a better performance against Wales. I think it, it's going to go up a level in terms of difficulty against them. You know, they're, they have a game under their belt. We'll have a game under ours, but um, they're a quality side. They're Grand Slam champions. Um, so we have a massive game this weekend. But, um, you know, there was a lot of positives from our, from our game at the weekend. A lot of stuff we've been, we've been working on um, in our camp in Portugal and, and leading up to this game that worked well. A few things that will be frustrating, um, a bit of decision making, um, maybe taking the wrong option at times, but um, the, the line breaks were there, the, 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 the opportunities to score tries were there, so uh, that's really pleasing. Uh, John, there was a lot of calls for you in the build up to uh, the Scotland game to start. How was that, taking that um, to start from the bench? Was it a tough uh, call to take? Um, no, to be honest, it probably wasn't because um, I just saw I'm in a much better position than I was saying this time last year. And and probably got into the squad last year on the back of a couple of injuries. So, um, for me, I just, I, as I said, I saw myself in a better position than I was in the summer or, or then. So, yeah, whatever I was facilitated for the team is, it was important that coming on, I hadn't probably subbed too often this year with Ulster. So, for me, just to try and perform and, and ease into the team whenever I could. And yeah, I was happy with, say, the 20 minutes I got. Connor, I'm sure you heard all that talk. You know, was it, did you feel you had a point to prove last weekend? And was it difficult hearing all that talk and all the calls for John to, to start? Um, yeah, uh, not not difficult. I think it's it's all credit to John. He's been he's having an unbelievable season, um, and y you respect that. And, and as soon as we came into camp, it's it's about Ireland. And I know you know you, uh, everyone wants to start. Um, you know, Lukey involved as well. But as a as a group of three, we're all working together. We're all trying to figure out this together and, and put ourselves in the be best position to perform at the weekend. And um, you know, I got I got the nod last week, and, and John and Luke were, were really good to me in terms of. You know, analysis are just helping each other with with chats here and there. But um, yeah, at the weekend definitely adds a little bit more motivation. You want to put in a performance. Um, you know, people start writing you off and, and things like that. So um, naturally, there was there was a bit of bit of that there. But you know, in our position, you know, having a calm head is is probably one of the most important things you can do. So um, trying to balance that was uh, was the challenge last weekend. Do you feel you've done enough to keep your starting place? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, you know, it was a tough game. There were, like you said, in terms of the team forms, there was good moments. There was moments that we can be better at, um, and individually, I, I feel that way as well. Um, so we'll wait and see. But it's an ultra competitive environment, which is, I said it a while ago. We maybe there was times where it hasn't been like that in in, in the Irish squad, and um, you know, you'd much rather it this way. You know, whatever about the talk and the outside, you, you you know it's there, but you don't. I don't see much of it, but you're aware of it. But um, you'd much rather have it like this with, with lads pushing each other really, really hard. How do you think John went? Really good. Yeah, he's just there. Um, <laughs> he really good. Yeah. Um, came on, added, added to the game. Um, had a lovely kick in, in behind their defense to to push us up the pitch towards the end of the game, especially in a tight game like that. Um, it was pretty much what we needed. So, um, like I said, he's been playing really well all year and and continued that on Saturday. Uh, Connor, was your was your brief going into that Tottenham game? Has that changed in any way in terms of how you play? Just based on the new coaches, you know, Andy in charge and working with my cat. Um, yeah, definitely. It's obviously new, new coaching, um, set up new, new, new style of play, and um, there's a there's a few differences. Definitely, um, you know, I thought we attacked both sides of the rock pretty well. You know, we, we looked to have a lot of options in attack, um, and a, and a, and a bit a bit of freedom to, to to play what you see, which was um, which was really exciting going into the game. Now Scotland made it really difficult with the breakdown, um, muddied the rock a bit, um, made it a bit slow at times, but. Um, you know, those moments aside, when we were on the front foot, um, when our, our ball carriers got on on the front foot for us, um, those options came alive and it, it was quite enjoyable. So um, we look to, to improve that again this weekend. Yeah, it must be exciting though just to kind of have that sort of extra bit of license to kind of play a bit more heads up rugby. Yeah, definitely. Um, and with, with Caddy there as well, um, he's encouraging us to do that. You know, um, you know, if you see something, you, you're you're not discouraged to not go down that avenue. You know, if you want to if you want to try something, it's it's um, it's a good thing and. You know the reactions off that from players around you um, is definitely something that's that's building, which is which is really exciting. Connor, is it constantly evolving in terms of? It's very hard to see after just one game how different the game plan is going to be. I mean, as Farrell said, 
he has only had kind of five sessions with you guys last week. So are we going to see something different as, as the tournament goes on from there? Yeah, you, you'd, you'd hope to, but like, like you said, the five sessions or whatever we've had, and there's so many good ideas and so many things we want to we want to implement into our game, and um, you can't just bla like have it all on show on Saturday. It's impossible to show off everything we've been we've been working on. So it's about adding to that, getting better at the the new things we're we're trying to do, and um, yeah, obviously this weekend against Wales, we want to play better than we did last weekend and and, and show a little bit more. But um, like I said, the the environment, the new coaching setup, it's really exciting. Um, it's quite a fresh, fresh feeling, um, and people are buzzing around the place. So, hopefully, that will be reflected in our in our performances. Different captain as well, and you could just see with Johnny obviously taking on the kicks as well. It did seem that there was a leadership group that were involved in a lot of those decisions. Yourself, Peter, it does seem that I I is there a change there in the way that the leadership, those kind of decisions are being made? On um, I think <sighs> genuinely beforehand it was kind of like that too. That there'd be decision makers on the pitch um, there'd be leaders within the team on the pitch as well that would kind of gather around if because there were moments in that game whether we, we could have gone for the corner or it was easier to take three points and you know I remember we had a penalty under the post and there was another penalty in the corner and you know just the chats we had around you know coming back to the middle of the pitch and, and taking the easy three and, and, and building again so um, that's definitely there now and it, and it was there before just um, people on the pitch helping out whoever is Captain, um, there's enough good voices, experienced voices around to, to help, help each other. Uh, John, have you uh, said to Andy Farrell what, what, what happened to you to get into the starting team? Um, no, to be honest, I haven't. Um, I understand what we need as a collective. We talk a lot about the collective in terms of our squad, and, and I know how he wants us to play. Where we, we did one on ones last week, and he just told me to keep getting the ball away fast. And like most teams at the moment, that's what we're trying to play. And, and he just said he thought I could do it even better. So it's it's a work on for me work on for all of us it's it's obviously a different type of game we played to last year and um, it's probably quite suited to the way we play up in Ulster and I know Dan McFarland always pushes me to do that so yeah it's just each week now just uh, trying to improve that and, g and get used to playing with different combinations and and different people making sure we get into our shapes right and like uh, Connor said we've only been together for I think five sessions so yeah it's still early days and, and to go against Glasgow side or sorry Scotland side that play like Glasgow and um, you could see that they've ran that shape for quite a while so I thought on the back of that game we did pretty well to, to go against a team that have been together for now probably about two years. So are you both looking at what you're doing the whole time? Oh, he's having that for breakfast or whatever. What is the competition <laughs> like? I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, um, it's not that bad. Let's not make it worse than it is. Um, <laughs> sure, we've been playing together since 20s, under 19, yeah, 20, 20, so. 20, so um, this isn't a new thing. I've been <laughs> watching him. I'm sure he's been watching me for the last 10 years, yeah. so um, nothing's really changed. Um, Ron O'Gara said, on Saturday, just questioning about maybe the confidence in the squad, and is is it where it needs to be with Wales coming this weekend? Yep, yeah, it's been really good. Um, as players, there's, there's a really good belief and um, enthusiasm about what we're trying to do, um, what we've done in training so far, what we showed glimpses of. I, let's not forget, I think Scotland came here and they played really well. They did, like in the World Cup, you know. Um, we dominated, dominated them really well and, and got away from them in the game, but they came here pretty much with a point to prove and, and, and you know they were really fired up for it and um, they came really close to snatching a win. They, we give them credit too, I thought they played really well um, and we did well both sides of the ball, especially in defence late in the game um, you know, and after a couple of mistakes getting back um, and defending really well, winning um, turnovers. So uh, there's a huge amount of positives from that game and from what we've been Talking about meetings and in training, you know, uh, <coughs> I'm uh, really excited about this weekend. I think there's um, definitely more than enough belief in, in the squad at the moment. What about Wales at the weekend? Um, they're going to be they're going to be really <laughs> really tough. Um, you know, they're going to they've they've played the same way for a long time now. There's going to be a few differences, but um, y you know, th their kicking game and, and the pressure they put on you um, with their <coughs> kick chase is, is going to make life. A, Pretty difficult. I think that's an area we need to improve on. Is in, in terms of our kicking, our, our contestable kicks, our, our exits. We we came under a little bit of pressure there uh, at the weekend, um, and their game breakers. You know, their, their back line is, is always a handful. Um, you know, they've got speed, they've got size, and they can play in a variety of different ways. So, um, and their Grand Slam champions, they're going to be really confident coming here um, with the aim to get a result. So, um, it's going to be a tough one. John, when you say, John, when you say you you weren't disheartened that not getting the nod because you're in a bit better position than last year. That's quite a sanguine take. And like, do you work on that attitude, that kind of big picture mindset? Yeah, it's it's 
definitely something I've worked on over the last couple of years, obviously. Um, I had to go the road less traveled or whatever, I've used that term before, and, and I've struggled with injuries and stuff like that, so it's, it's definitely something I've, I've learned. I've, I get slagged a lot for reading a lot of books and stuff like that, and I read a couple of those. Uh, the Obstacles of the Way is a book I read, and it discusses that. It's kind of always the way you, you see your circumstances and how you react. Uh, you could always go one or two ways and in the summer I told myself I was going to go the other way and, and try to improve myself personally and, and be in this position I am right now so yeah it's definitely something I think you actively have to work on and I've probably learned to, to cut down a little bit on the overtraining aspect of it sometimes you think you have to train more and more but I've learned now psychologically you can kind of get a lot more from, from that aspect of the game so yeah I think yeah it's, it's just how you react to the circumstances uh, for me anyway.